What is going on guys, my name is Spencer and welcome back to another Gary's Mod Tool tutorial. In this one we're going to be looking at the button tool and there's not a lot you can do with this but the best way I've found you can use it is by using it in collaboration with another tool. So I'm going to be using the winch tool and we've got it set as numpad 7 to make it longer and numpad 9 to make it shorter. So what we need to do is just spawn in an object. So we're going to use this bath and then we're going to put our set our winch up by clicking on the bath and then clicking on the wall. So there's our winch. If I press numpad 9 it will make it shorter and press numpad 7 it will make it longer. Simple. So now we need to remember what button we've got for making it shorter which is numpad 9 and then we get our button tool and we also set that to numpad 9 like that and then we pick whichever button we want. I'm going to go for this one and you've also got the toggle here so you can either have it so you press it and it moves it all the way in or you have to hold it to move it to whatever distance you want I'm going to turn it off for the sake of this video so we then just literally left click will attach it to whatever it's currently on so if I left click it'll stick it to the wall whereas if I right click it'll spawn one in that I can then get my fizz gun and move around like that so a couple of differences with that one but again nothing too strenuous so what I'm going to do is you go up to your button and you press E but for me like because I've got it off toggle I have to hold it so I hold E and as you can see it starts dragging in the path because it's set to the same one as the winch so this is really good sort of for doors and things like that so if you have your winch set up for a door and you want your door to open at the press of a button that's what you do you just press your button and the door will open so we need to spawn in another one to lower it back down so we set this one to numpad 7 and then we'll get a different type of button and we'll put it on there and again just holding it we'll bring it back down all the way to the bottom and you, you don't only have to use this with the winch tool you can use it with other things like dynamite you can use it with pulleys and motors and all sorts basically it's just a different way to trigger different um, tools in the game so that's pretty much all you can do with this tool it's fairly simple but it's another good one to know about so thank you all so much for watching and tune in next time where we'll be having a look at the duplicator one which is very simple again so tune in for that tomorrow and i will see you there